Hi everyone, I'm Luis and welcome back to my channel. A rewards browser players, how well are you doing your day-to-day -day tasks? Let's take a look. Here in the town hall, we have a lot of things we, we need to take um, attention in the first uh, minutes or hours of the day. See, you have um, energy to spend, you have the, the airship with, it, with its expeditions, uh, not to forget also get some some stuff from the merchant because it rotates throughout the day uh, see about the special events then we also have uh, the um, very specific areas in the guild for example the the guild war so the competitions there we have uh, the dungeon all sorts of things here uh, we will go through the um, what I consider to be the, the most um, high priority first and then as we go we will cover all the things that um, typically we need to do in our in our um, Euro Wars day <laughs> okay so let's start with that the first thing I will do is obviously the energy here because I'm already at the maximum energy accumulated for the day for um, or um, better yet, for the current moment, I'm I'm stacked up. So what I will do is I will um, I will see um, either items or souls that I need. You see here, there's a daily quest for um, the energy and getting you more energy, but also, and um, if you scroll here down, you will see complete three heroic missions. This is for getting. Um, this is for doing specific uh, missions like these ones here that will um, that, that that will give you some soul stones for heroes. This is this is mostly for for that purpose that these missions exist. So and that's one way of checking, going in the map and just looking around, or you just go to your favorite heroes and try to. Try to see one that you would like to have some soul stones. For example, here Tia or Astaroth or Aurora. I'm gonna go here for Aurora, Android 3. And looks like um, I received an additional uh, level, so additional <laughs> energy. Um, looks like I will have some some energy to spend so I will go through that now I've done some souls now I'm going to do some items I could use some items so let's go over here that was a bad run let's see some of these uh, rings so some some of those attacks were useful let's see now Maybe a little bit on Sebastian, some candles. I call them these names because it's <laughs> easier to memorize. The candle is called the end of glory. <laughs> so who would have uh, thought on that? Nobody. <laughs> mm, let's see. Isaac here is needing also the same candles and um, also need some of these flaming hearts. Let's try get some. Okay, so we got one full heart. Let's go back here and try to oopsie, try to get some more rings. There we go. Now, um we do have um some rewards to collect here. That should do it for for these ones. We need to do a lot more stuff here. Let's go over the things. We have the open one chest. We have the emeralds exchange. We have the arena fights. We have XP potions. We have the expeditions. So the expeditions happen here. And this is typically the second thing that I will do. I will uh, get the, the Valkyrie's favor reward here. And then I'll go and start all the expeditions that I can. I 
I don't think I can start more yet. So that's it for expeditions. And now, basically, I already covered the the most urgent uh, energy and expeditions because they are very, very, very time sensitive. The second, the, the third thing would be trying to get some some items from the from the merchant because they they get uh, renewed every every X hours. So th these ones here on the town shop they get re renewed, I believe, three times a day, something like every eight hours or something. And then. Um, for all these other shops, these are, uh, I believe, every 24 hours, uh, all of them. Um, what can I tell you? Here, here on the, the town shop, it's important to get the exp XP potions and eventually uh, violet items. It's good to grab them here. On the arena shop, uh, I and for all these other shops, Grand Arena, Tower Shop, Soul Shop, friendship shop and outland shop you have the option of getting uh, soul stones for for some heroes if um, if you need uh, for any of those go, go ahead and, and try to grab uh, every now and then or or daily depending depending on how much coin you have accumulated and if you want to you f if you want to focus on getting those soul stones as quickly as possible if not it's also good to get every now and then when there's uh, uh, specific events that that reward you for getting soul stones. So you can use you can use all of these to get some extra soul stones to to complete those missions. So that's for all of these shops, okay? With the exception of the soul shop because it, it has an added value that is jet. Jet is the only uh, um, souls you can get here for this hero, and uh, it's the only place where you can get jet soul stones. And basically, it is often one of, one of the heroes to to have, and one of the most difficult to get. And so, um, whenever you get um, soul soul coins that you get from exchanging extra souls from from heroes that you already evolved to the max, if you are planning to have uh, jet in your teams, then you should be getting these daily. Okay. So uh, aside from that, so you have the soul stones on uh, on each one of these shops here, but you also have items. Uh, this will uh, change over time. You will start by having just uh, gray and, and blue and, and green items, eventually uh, violet items, and in some shops you will, will also get orange items. What I will uh, suggest is that you try to get uh, only uh, violet and orange items from these shops and try not to get the others, so not to, to waste um, the coin on, on lower importance items. Now it all comes down to, to whatever you need the items and whether these items are hard to get or easier to get. Some items will be, uh, even th when talking about violet and orange items, some items will be much harder to get than others, so it's best to, to spend the coins on those. So uh, from my experience, at least in mobile, I haven't gotten that far uh, in, in browser version, but these uh, pole axes here, y usually in, in mobile, are kind of easy to get. So I don't know if that's the case here on, on browser, but uh, if eventually I find out that it's the case, I'm not getting much of these uh, often. Uh, let's see now the Grand Arena shop. Um, we have here some, some uh, Arunian helms. I will be getting these when possible. I need those. The tower shop. Um, at the moment, I don't need any of these ones here, but uh, uh, these are um, often used in. in really, uh, they are some of the, the 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 parts that are used the most. Well, although Lamort's card is probably not one of the most used, the the flaming hearts are very very used. Those are um, violet items, uh, and also here the the siren song is is often used. That's why I got one last last day and also here I got one of the flaming hearts then we we'll, uh, look about the soul shop um, uh, really unless you're not trying to get uh, jet you don't want jet or you already have jet maxed whatever 
then you should not uh, be getting any of the items here okay once you have jet maxed and or you don't want to, to have jet then you can consider other things like the xp potions but uh, really i would not spend at all this this sh uh, shop coins because they are so hard to get and they, they take so many resources i wouldn't spend them on violet items never maybe orange items once you have all the jet soul stones you need or uh, you, you will see you will find out by yourself what, what best what best fits you now we have the friendship shop this is something very, very completely exclusive to the browser versions it's not available on mobile uh, all the other shops are available on mobile with uh, very similar um, very similar purchase options the friendship shop every now and then pops up with uh, nice violet and orange items desert blades is what i got yesterday these are, are very very used and then the outland shop um what i tend to use is just spend the outland coins on soul stones when i need them and when i don't need them which is most of the time i will i will spend on the skin chests this is the most um, rewarding thing you can get here okay uh, but you can always try to get some of these orange items but personally i would leave this for the other shops and just try to get these ones here hero soul stones that you might need depending on your team composition so you might need the organ i don't know it's up to you but very very specifically and especially the the soul stone chest so that you can work on your skins then finally the guild war shop this is uh, a shop that gets available once you join the guild at level 30 and higher i believe and um we'll use a different kind of coin it's uh, a different coin per per league and you can trade these coins for all sorts of things so for example um souls for some heroes some titan potions and runes you can also exchange between these coins and you can also get skins what i would recommend here is always spend your your bronze guild war trophies from the bronze league in uh, titan potions uh, or if you're needing uh, runes for your glyphs uh, then suppose get some of those runes but otherwise always get the titan potions now for the silver and the gold well that depends if you need any of the heroes here or any of the skins here if you need then go ahead and get those uh, and you can also um, try to get uh, th this um, these hero soul stones uh, daily bases or just accumulate and get at, at another time when there's for example uh, hero, so hero souls uh, events so those events that reward you for getting soul stones so you can just reserve all these coins for for those kind of events um, otherwise if you don't need any of those skins or heroes and you're not trying to to use these coins for for that specifically you can convert all these gold and silver coins up to or down to in this case to to browns to bronze uh, coins so gold you can trade gold to silver here and then you can trade silver to to bronze here and then you can just get the titan potions and the runes or, or whatever things that you need so that's it for the shops now let's go let's go further so shops are, are, are time sensitive other things that are time sensitive but we, we still have time now w would be the arenas and the guild wars and all that so that now let's go over uh, various easier things here let's go open the ch the town chest one time and that's it let's go spend some xp potions uh, this uh, task daily task it works by by just spending it, it rewards you by just spending one xp potion so it doesn't matter if you level up or not um i will be i will be spending here on on uh, isaac and you will see that if i just click here one time just spend one potion the mission will be automatically done 
okay of course I will want to do more than that <laughs> I will want to put a full level in there so let's put a full level in there that's it we can collect these two rewards let's see else we have the hero skins let's go look over something here I was working on Dorian and Sebastian let's put a point there I, I've, I'm um, I'm doing this on a, a more of a free-to-play basis so I just spend exactly what I need every day to get the rewards instead of just dumping all the resources and then the next day I don't have resources and I have to buy emeralds and do stuff to get to get the, the things that I need to complete the missions no I'm just doing this on an I'm playing the game as it's supposed to be played marathon not a sprint so every day I spend a little bit every now and then I might decide I want to spend a bit more or, or a, a lot of resources even but that's going to be that's not going to be the day, the day to day to day basis I will just spend enough to complete the missions okay so let's see other town things we can do the emerald exchange so I just spend here 20 emeralds and I get uh, whatever gold reward that that I will be awarded here in this case times one 39,000 uh, almost 40,000 gold let's see we have the send gifts to to your guildmates it's the same as clicking here and then just clicking this oh, we, we have done that let's see other things in the town the artifacts of course and the outlands and the tower so let's now go over to the outland the outland on um, on browser version is um, quite simple basically you get to do one free chest a day without doing any fight and then if you want you can open additional chests these ones start at 90 90 emeralds 90 emeralds then a free chest and then you will get two uh, chests at 200 emeralds and then you will get other options afterwards this is for every uh, boss here and you can also attack and then if you attack and win uh, those chests reset and say imagine you had opened already till the 200 emeralds chests here you you attack the boss you finish the fight if you win then this resets and you start again at the first chest which is free so you open it you get a reward and then you can do these ones so my recommendation if you're trying to do some of these you should first open all that you want to open uh, to, the, to the cost that you want to open and then you fight the boss and you try to uh, win it and then you get additional chests that you can open so you get more rewards that's that's what you would do you you would do for example for and uh, those typical uh, Outland uh, events, Guardian, uh, Guardian of Outlands or something like that events where you try to, to get more, um, more land chests open, so you get more rewards. So you could do this strategy. And then next, um, the tower, the tower will take some time, so we will leave it for the last task. Let's now see the artifact. The artifacts, basically, again, the same, the same thing. I will, I will tell you, and just spend a little bit uh, every day, not too much, so that you can spend every day, uh, so that you can collect the rewards every day. So I just put two levels here, one for each of these. I didn't put on the middle one here the the book because I don't have um, resources for that, so I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so. Um, then we have here the special events so we have the daily bonus that today is going to be arena coins yesterday was energy is one of the favorite and I will say that the, usually the, 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 the better ones are the energy because you always need extra energy and, and this often coincides with events and then would be the emeralds because you need emeralds <laughs> what else and then would be the hero uh, chests here, hero soulstone chests, and um, the artifact keys, and these summoning spheres. Um, these ones are also very good. 
although the quantity is not that big i mean five times 150 that's uh, uh 750 skin stones it's not that much unfortunately and the gold well it's some gold uh, it will be some gold throughout the, the month but it's not a lot lot of gold so i would say that the the better ones are the ones here in the middle and also this one eventually for the uh, the um, Titan Artifact Spheres. Then we have the, the skin sale here, and you just go here and open that, and you get those uh, extra skin stones every day. And don't bother with the, the sales here, because these, are th these have no discount. This is just bullshit, okay? This is the same always, always the same price, never changes. Don't get fooled with it. And you can get these, skin these uh, skins anywhere, uh, an anytime, okay? It's not specific, just because they are here doesn't mean that you cannot get them anytime. Uh, the, mm, the, the, the events of the day are Inishati Quarry and Emerald Waterfalls, so I'll just collect these ones here. This is uh, just um, very common events, nothing special about them. And about the skins that I, were, I was talking about, so for example, if I want to get now uh, skins for Jew, except for this one which only is only available during winter and i can just get here the solar skin eh? unlock i press here i buy it either with money or with skin stones and that's done eh? no need to wait for a specific day where the uh, the vendor here is selling that is ju is here but it's also there okay Let's see, Astrod. Astrod doesn't have a skin there. Can I buy it here? Of course I can. Okay, unlock and buy. Okay, so don't get fooled with that. That's just propaganda. So we've done the uh, special events. Let's check on mail. We collect all these things here. So just miscellaneous things. I have a guild master's present. That's cool. Thank you. There's a boxy's gift here and there's a Wendy gift here as well that I collected previously. Uh, I clicked on their links. Now, let's check what else we can do. Now, the things that start to pop up here are starting to be things on the on the uh, guild area. So let's move over there. Uh, uh, before that, I'll just go over. So um, this is for the pets. It's the same as clicking here and then or checking on the guild, the area specific for the pets, the sanctuary. Titan Artifact Sphere, that, that's something you can also check on the, on the guild, the, the dungeon here, and, and so on. So now let's jump. Let's jump to the guild. The guild section is only available when you are in a guild. So unless, unless you are in a guild, you, you will not see this. The first things we can do here. Um, let's go over to the Titan Valley, because this is really one of the easier ones. So, things to know about this, uh, you have the Tournament of the Elements, where you can do fights and, and get uh, rewards daily. These uh, fights, they happen uh, um, throughout the, the week, uh, weekdays only, okay? So this is one type of competition. And then you have the Guild War, which is another type of competition. Okay, this is a contrast with um, with mobile, because on mobile you have Guild War and and cross server tournament. So, two types of competition for for guilds to fight each other. And uh, you also have the Hydra, which is a uh, um, the guild boss. Okay, on um, on the browser versions you have only Guild War, no CSW. But then you have the Titan Valley with the Tournament of the Elements, which is a competition just for Titans. Sometime in the future, um, I don't know, maybe in the next month or so, they will introduce also a guild boss for the browser versions. So that will be like the Hydra. And the Hydra, and just to give a context, so what you can expect for the other one for browser versions, the Hydra is just this beast that you try to kill daily on different difficulty levels and get rewards from that. It's it's something that is uh, uh, shared for all the, the guild members, so every 
member tries to do some damage and then if everybody is doing enough damage then these hydras will be killed so s similar will happen on the the browser versions uh, later when they release that feature so competition here competition there and no competition here on the dungeon okay the dungeon let's go over the dungeon the dungeon you can do um, you can do your fights here in the dungeon to collect titanite and to collect also uh, titan souls titan potions and i think that's about it those three those three uh, resources uh, if you have valkyrie's favor you can click on the oracle's trials here and collect uh, already at the start 150 titanite without doing any part of the dungeon and also these uh, divination cards or raid cards or dungeon cards whatever you want to call them with these you can do uh, automatic uh, fights here without um, without spending much time but basically you will be be prompted with this accept this fight or fight your own this will be a manual fight fight your your own that is accept this fight will be um, will it will spend these divination cards so right now I have access to 20 and if I reach level 1000 I can get five more per day and this means I can skip 20 fights entirely just auto mode I mean the <laughs> Not skip skip in the sense that you don't fight. You do fight, the titans get damaged, but you don't have to do the manual fight. It's like the the raid cards or raid tickets for um, the campaign for your, your heroes. So we just do this. I will try to even out the damage between all the titan teams. So earth, fire and water and also the neutral team. There's also hero fights in between. And by doing this uh, very quickly, this is just like two, two to five minutes, really. No, not an issue. I can collect um, at this at this current state with the twenty uh, divination cards. I can collect two hundred and fifty, fifteen um, titanite every day. Just two five minutes. That's all. That's all my effort here. Super easy. So we grab all of this. And that's it. We have 215 Titanite. I'm not going to activate this. So this is basically um, mixed free to player, free to play pl uh, players and non free to play players. Why? Valkyrie's favor does cost a little bit um, of money. Uh, one one uh, like one euro and fifty nine cents uh, every every two weeks or something. So it's some money, but it's not a lot of money, and it's just basically a subscription. Uh, if you want to consider that uh, not free to play, but that's something that most I don't know. Some people will consider free to play. Some people will not consider free to play. I will consider free to play because this game is really difficult regardless if you're playing the the browser or the mobile versions it's really difficult to play this game without the Valkyrie's favor so I just consider that as their subscription fee to play the game and then everything that you spend on top of that for me that's non free to play playing okay so this is all the only thing that I get on my accounts so browser um, so browser with web and Facebook versions and then the mobile with Android versions that's the only thing I get for all of these accounts just the Valkyrie's favor I don't get anything else and for that reason I still consider myself well ah, I, of course I cheated a bit on <laughs> mobile because I, I fell in the trap of uh, spending a lot of money back in the in the first month but ever since I stopped spending money and I'm I'm a um, free to play player excluding the Valkyrie's favor since since October 2020 and for these browser versions I'm a 100% Valkyrie uh, favor only spender and I don't spend anything else so yeah in that regard I consider myself also a free to play player 
for the current uh, standards. Well, I spoke about um, exchanging um, aerosol stones for extra aerosol stones for jet when you have uh, an euro evolved to the max. The same happens uh, with titans. Once you have a titan evolved to the max, to six stars, you can exchange the extra souls every day or whenever you want for the titan soul coins. And then with that you can get additional uh, titan potions. And so I just collect some titan potions there, then I can go over the titans and spend like here, spend one, and spend some here. And that's done. Now we have still a few sections to go over. The Heart of Power. Uh, this is about the, the hero, so let's take a detour here and, and look at this first. So you will see that you can develop the gifts of the elements and the glyphs here. There are specific missions for that, specific quests. Oh, by the way, the, the quest for Titanite, we just finished that. So we got 75 Titanite, so we collected. And uh, also an Fish Titanite, so we collect another two summoning spheres. But we also have these quests here, the, the activity points and the upgrade gift of the elements to level 1. This is um, this is uh, um, poorly written. This, this means exactly that you would need to level the gift of the elements for a Nero to level 1. This is incorrect. I wish they would fix this. This is completely wrong. What they mean is that you need to level up any gift of the elements from any hero by one level, not to level one. And with that, you, you can collect this reward of 300 Titan potions. Okay? So, any level that you put anywhere, like here putting one level to Ching Mao to, to get her to level two, would be, will be sufficient. Okay? Will be uh, valid. Also, also uh, putting here one level to Mojo, which has zero levels, or putting one level to Aurora and making her 20 levels. But I will teach you here a trick that allows you to get uh, the, the, the reward very, uh, every day with minimal effort. So what you will do is you will pick any hero and level up to level 1 from 0 to 1. You spent 7,000 gold and 250 uh, sparks of power. These these ones you get by evolving the titans. And now that you get get one one level, you do a reset, and you get back the 250 sparks of power. Okay, so basically you only lost 7,000 gold. Is essentially the same as spending 7,000 gold to get your reward and the reward is 300 titan potion so it's very uh, very good reward for very uh, low spending you see here i finished it and i collected 300 now the guild activity or better yet before we go to the guild activity just to go over that so you check here the titans every level you you put here will will give you some sparks of power also, every time you uh, evolve a titan, it's not visible now, but you also you will also get sparks of power. Now we have the the glyphs, and the glyphs is not specifically um, specifically written here. Anything about that, right? So you have this mission here for the guild activity points, but you don't see anything for the glyphs. That's because it's a hidden quest. If you go here and you click go for it, you are presented with this panel. It's the same as going here on the guild and clicking here on rewards. And you will see here that there's this information about the guild points for today. That's how many activity points your guild, all, all their members did for the day. So my guild is a very uh, a high spender guild basically we have always a lot of points uh, every day i haven't done that much uh, yet <coughs> and basically for each tier of of these activity points for the guild 
every member will be awarded some of these uh, rewards here, the, the enchantment ruins. And the guild master will also be able to reward every day or just accumulate the presents uh, and give out presents to sp specific members. And how do you get these activity points? You, you get them by fighting in the campaign, so spending the energy like we did uh, earlier. That's why we, we got that much uh, points here. So I probably spent exactly 448 energy to get these activity points here. There's another way which is to exchange items. So for example, exchange here a few to get 12 uh, points. And now we have 460. But there's another way that is very easy. And it, that is by uh, evolving your glyphs. By evolving just one glyph for any hero, regardless if it's a level 1 glyph, level 40, whatever, you will get the reward. So I will spend here on Ju. I have a lot of runes, so it doesn't matter uh, uh, which hero. Um, it doesn't matter the, the, the amount of spending that I have to do to evolve a glyph, because I have a lot. That's basically what I wanted to say. So I'll spend uh, 200 gold. 200,000 gold and some 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 runes here and I'll get this artif this uh, glyph to level 42 okay then um, if you don't have enough runes f for uh, leveling up a, a higher level glyph like that you can just pick uh, some other hero at uh, a very low level or something and just spend like these five here and get get one rune to to level to level get one lift to level one that's also valid for completing the quest so you get 700 activities just from that and you see now my contribution is 1000 uh, um, more than more almost uh, 1200 basically on the way to 1200 activity points and you can check here the activity for for the week i'm positioned more to the bottom because I, I'm playing mostly as a free to play or uh, <laughs> if you don't count Valkyrie's favor as specifically just free to play a uh, player and uh, uh, in opposition many of the, the members on this guild are, are high spenders so I'm always more to the bottom of the table now let's see we have covered um, the heart of power with the glyphs and the um, and the gifts of the elements. We have covered the dungeon. We have went here in the merchant, the titans. We have gone through the energy, the the airship. The airship will have uh, um, more expeditions than you than you can do uh, um, at at one time. So you will you will need to come here a few times a day to to be able to do all of them. So I just put some more running. We have checked the merchant here also for the town. And the outlands and we spent some resources for for our heroes so completed some of those daily tasks there's a few more things we can do and some things will will be without a reward specifically uh, unless there's a, an event happening that will um, give you some reward for spending those resources so one of them is the circle of summoning so the circle of summoning lets you open these summoning spheres to get titan souls I'm going to open now 10 and I got some 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 souls there I always keep some saved up this will not give me any reward for any any um, for anything in particular but every now and then there might be a, a, an event special event that will have a, a one of the tasks as opening uh, summoning spheres in reward for for something so with that I get some more some more souls for the titans and then I can exchange those for titan potions you know the drill <laughs> I'm just now accumulating some and uh, I'm still a little bit shy of the next level here for Eden that's it for the titans um, for the mm, summoning spheres now for the titans there's a few more things there's there's this section here and we have here the titan artifacts, the elemental sphere, spirits, and the altar of the elements. So there's two quests related to this. 
and by the way that, that was the rewards for the guild activity also the there's a there's a guild reward and there's um and there's the your individual re rewards with multiple tasks every day that you can collect and so you have um these tasks here for um, this daily the requests for your titan artifacts this one let's see this one here open the titan spheres will will give you some rewards for opening these um, titan artifact spheres and this one is is just i mean you just spend some some uh, of your resources in leveling up um artifacts and then you collect the reward so i will show those more specifically here on the on titan valley so you, you know where to click we go here in the altar and then we open it's the same as going in there but just so you know the the right position you get some fragments of this you can you can um basically collect any of these uh, in a random way any of these artifacts fragments or or even if you are very lucky uh, collect the the water or the fire or the earth spirit totems now with the artifacts uh, with the fragments that i collected i can spend some um at this point i will be spending i believe yes here hidden you can spend emeralds or the essences to level up um the weapon artifacts for the book artifacts is the same but for the uh, the uh, the seals so this is the equivalent of the the rings for the heroes for the hero artifacts you you instead of spending essences you will spend gold so essences is one one type of resource that you will get um i have a, a, a lot of those and you can you can earn that uh, on on different places so um let's see we you have the merchant the merchant no oh, yeah sorry the merchant is for is for getting the fragments in exchange for these uh, elemental coins elemental tournament the elemental tournament is where you do the fights and you can collect some of those coins uh, if you have finished the current level, you can just raid it like this instead of doing the fight manually. And for every fight, you will get the essence of the elements, some some amount, okay. And then you can claim also an additional additional rewards for the elemental tournament coins. So here you can collect some more. Then you can keep raiding. Or you can also do the 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 fights yourself manually until until you reach the stage where you haven't I yet won all the the fights and that's where you have to do the fights manually until you finish yeah. and then when you finish you can move on to the next stage and all the the stages up till the stage that you had finished you can just raid them daily like I'm I am doing now. I can rate uh, the first three stages and then at stage four and up I need to do it manually for now. Now I can claim more uh, coins here. And so this is this is how you get uh, some coins and also some essences, essences from each of these fights. Okay. Then we also have the elemental spheres, uh, spirits here. There is no quest for um, upgrading your totem there might be event specific that reward you for that but not uh, an, on a daily quest and you can spend um, guild war trophies these are bronze or emeralds to level up uh, one level for your titan totem uh, the last thing i want to show here is just a little bit more on the merchant and the hall of fame so when you finish the the competition and reach Saturday every week and this will this will have the results for the week here and all uh, well the, the players that did the, the, the best this week for the entire servers and you will also have here uh, a reward for your efforts during the week and we're not now at the end of the week so we cannot see those but they will be typically uh, gold 
and um, and uh, the um, what they call it the scrolls uh, the um, certificates the certificates so let's see here but where can we check on the the rules tournament points so uh, okay about the essences so you you get a uh, different uh, reward depending on how many points you're getting during the week tournament the tournament cups cups uh, <laughs> cups <laughs> the tournament cups so if you place um at the lowest r ranks you can get at least two certificates and this much gold and 50 emeralds if you really did, did well you can start earning up uh, more rewards like this here and uh, so you see that the the better uh, placed players will get a hundred certificates that's really good and this is uh, four million gold and ten thousand emeralds really good but this is a lot of um, they, they spent a lot of <laughs> resources to get there <laughs> so don't get your your hopes high so uh, most players will be getting this and if you really do well maybe you will eventually i have i haven't been there yet but maybe you will eventually reach the top 500 or top 700 that's already a huge achievement in my opinion but anyways for everyone else you will always be guaranteed this if you at least you do um, some fights during the week well that's it for the tournament uh, the merchant let's just check on that a little bit more so you can exchange here the the coins that you got in the tournament for the fragments and the fragments then you can spend here to level up your your titan artifacts so because because they are like the hero artifacts there's a part of the the upgrade that comes from leveling up the level but there's also a part that comes from um upgrading the 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 rank the, the the star rank of the artifact just like the hero artifacts and you use those fragments here and you can also exchange um, like i was saying here tournament coins for for the fragments so you can have enough to to do that that kind of upgrades the the um, the certificates you can exchange for uh, hero souls the specifically just these ones here nebula kark and vary and sebastian or you can trade it for uh, skins stone shares artifact coin and chaos cores uh, i believe the last three are the most important to get but every now and then you might be needing some some of these heroes but take in consideration that uh, you have these monthly tasks let's collect these uh, by the way the battles give you some of these some money these uh, artifact spheres bear in mind that the there's these um, these quests here monthly where you can get these chests and this already lets you get those souls on so if you if you want to be more on, on the patient side you can use these daily these monthly quests or monthly bonus to get uh, 50 soul stones for free without going to vip 10 you don't need just for free and um, there's also every now and events that will give you this uh, soul stone chest so you can for example, here I have times four fifty soul stones, so that's uh, two hundred, and times five a hundred soul stones, so that's five hundred. So I have here nine hundred soul stones to spend. So you probably won't won't need to use those uh, emerald, uh, those um, elemental, uh, I what they call the the certificates, the element elemental certificates that's what they call it <laughs> i think uh, i kind of for forget or confuse this let's see here uh, where can you see those they elemental tournament certificates so y you can save this for uh, the skin stones and artifact coins and chaos cores because you can accumulate uh, souls from other sources you don't need to spend these these ones okay 
let's go back here in the in the Titans. Um, so we finished looking at Titan Valley. And there's a few more things that you can do with your Titans, including uh, leveling up your your uh, Titan skins and getting new Titan skins. But there's no currently no daily task for this. So y no matter how you, you spend resources here, you, you will never get, uh, at the moment, rewards for that. Unlike the the artifacts. And like the elemental spirits, spirits you will also not get any re rewards for upgrading your elemental spirits every day okay um now we have a few more uh things to to cover up for our day and this will take some time we have the arenas arenas we have the guild war and we have uh, the tower and i believe those are the oh we still have the pets over that's right that's right so let's go over the pets so the pets are also accessible by this button, or you can go here in the sanctuary. And you have here the merchant. The first thing you you, need, you should be doing um, either after um, 21 hours or uh, 9 p.m. is to get so either either at that schedule or the next day you get these. Uh, Let's call them rewards because you only spend a little gold to get them. You buy these rewards here, and these are very handy. Okay, from the from the merchant here. Then you have your pets here, and you can choose to spend resources on them, but y you won't be getting any reward from that. Just like upgrading your your titans levels or uh, their skins or the elemental spirits. Y for the, the pets, you don't get any rewards for doing those investments every day. So you can just spend them whenever you are sure you want to spend, in which uh, uh, pet you want to spend, and, and so on. But there's some some daily tasks that you can do to get rewards, and we will cover those. So one of those will be about pet summoning, so opening this, um, this pet, um, what they call it, pet spheres pet summoning eggs and the other one will be about uh, doing adventures here and also uh, collecting um, opening chests in the adventure okay so we'll we'll go over those but we'll go back to the screen where we have the details on, on those tasks so we see here if we use any one summoning egg anytime during the day we will collect these rewards. So I open just one. Uh, it doesn't matter if you open one egg, two eggs, ten eggs, you get the reward. And the reward is some of these pet potions that you can use to up to level up your, your pets. And then start or join one adventure. So we end this adventure here and we can see um, if there's anyone doing any adventures currently doesn't seem to be the case and I can just look and see then what adventures I could be doing to progress so maybe this one here oh dang it <laughs> it's not available yet I need to oh but I can get it here on the level 80 suppose I could be well to be honest I haven't done level 80 yet so I don't really know the drill for that. I will try to focus on something um, easier, just for the sake of trying to explain how it works. So I'll just pick one of these, maybe level 60, level 60, level 55. These ones are less uh, uh, rewarding now, so le less uh, worthwhile doing. I think I'll go for this one here. And I just create a new adventure here. And um, this video will not be about tactics for the adventure. Um, I will just try to do this as quickly as possible, and just so you understand the the mechanics of this. And uh, basically, you just do these fights here. 
these are like standard campaign fights except that you have uh, uh, additional things you have so every one of these little high or what they call this the these are just so they call these squads uh, so you will fight a squad a uh, number of, of uh, heroes in, in on an enemy team and these ones are, are squads with the eye of the Arbinger so like we call them towers usually so these are just normal positions and these are the towers and you will see that the towers have this uh, uh, evil beam or laser beam or whatever and what they do is they are I think like Lord of the Rings okay it's the eye <laughs> of Lord of the Rings it's feeding power to these positions here and this translates to these uh, bonuses here there's normal bonuses that these positions will have so in this case uh, speeds up skill cooldown for this, this enemy team increases physical attack for marksman and increases pet skill power uh, but then you can get uh, you can this this um, enemy enemy teams can get additional bonuses from those eyes and in this case get an increase of damage by 130 percent from this eye here so what we should be doing is try to demolish all those eyes before attacking uh, these uh, normal positions because they will be buffed up and especially not attacking the boss while these eyes are feeding the boss with additional power on my case this is already very easy so uh, it's not that important i can do some fights uh, with those extra buffs active it will not matter for me but uh, at at um I don't know when you when you open a new a new level and you start doing that level it will be very hard so you need to you need to do those those eyes before moving to the normal positions and to the boss so in this case here this one should be completely safe I just go and do the fight and uh, these extra buff here won't matter for me they're not strong enough to 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 stop me well. You will see here that I'm spending energy to move. So I spent one, two, three, four points of energy. I had ten. Now I have six. And um, what I tend to do on the uh, adventure level sixty is just follow this path here and destroy all these eyes, and then reach reach this this position here for the boss. And um, mind in consideration that this p previous position is super easy for me at this point because um, I'm much more developed than these enemies here so it doesn't matter if this position is being buffed up or not by the eye but it might not be the case when you start doing this adventure so you might you might need to wait for your um, for your, your your guild members to join the adventure and clear up the eye that feeds this uh, position here for example and with that I will show you how you invite players you go here in this button and you just look for um, players you would like to invite and you send the request and eventually they might join your same adventure here up to three players can be an adventure so you plus two and while I'm doing this pad here, one of them could be doing this one here and clearing these eyes here so that this position here loses the bonus and and so on. Now I'll just continue. And we are at three fights uh, from the finish. It will be uh, far more interesting when we reach the the boss fight and we just also um, enabled one chest if you if you look that in the bottom of the screen so 
so these um, these chests become uh, available as you progress and spend your energy and, and win positions so it takes certain amount of team points to open all of these chests plus the the, the, the last chest the last chest basically opens when you f when you kill the boss but if you want to open the three the three small chests plus the um, if you want to open the three small chests you need to complete this amount of points so if you just rush for the boss and and don't spend the energy and kicking kicking the ass of the other positions then you you won't be doing an enough points uh, to to collect the other chests and that's why also it's very important to get as much players as possible in in uh, every adventure so that you can together open all those chests finally the last fight for me and uh, today here the boss fight I'll, I'll now activate the skills auto and let him do the fight and it's not going so well I believe that's because the the bosses and and these teams here they or at least the boss I think they kind of uh, grow up in difficulty over time or I don't know the logic yet maybe they grow up ov over time in difficulty or it's like the tower they they level up depending on your account team team level I don't know something like that because usually I was able to to kill that boss without losing any any heroes um, but it, because I haven't been upgrading my heroes, so I'm like at account level 104 or 5 or something, and I haven't upgraded the heroes, maybe I'm beginning to be behind because of that. I don't know. At this point, I have finished all my energy, no other players have joined, and I have two options either end the adventure, collect the chests the ones I have opened, I have um, made available and get whatever rewards are in them, so these are the options that can come up from them and uh, and you know, the ad adventure is, is finished and I, I, we, I, we don't get no, no players can join the adventure and we cannot get any extra chests from it or I can not end the adventure and just close here and let this adventure stay so it's still here. I can click here and come back. And just uh, leave it there for the rest of the day and see if anybody joins and, and helps finish it. And then I can collect the remaining chests. Okay. So daily quests. I have here um, start one adventure or join. It's done. Now I have here open three chests in the adventure. So I can open these two. But it's not enough yet to collect these rewards so I, I will have to wait for someone else oh no wait yes uh, yes because I had I believe I had opened one chest from the previous adventure that was already finished so that's why it's three so one small chest here plus the boss chest plus one other chest on the previous adventure so I've completed the quest that's cool well um, that's it for that uh, we have a few more things to do including collecting more energy here but we can keep it there so let's see now we still have tower arenas and uh, guild war to finish so guild war is is easy because i'm also not in the guild war <laughs> but i'll just show you what typically to expect so you will join if you are assigned to the war uh, you are part of the champions of the war and you can check that uh, here tomorrow's plan defense champions of the guild if you have a check here then you are part of the um, part of the team that will be fighting in the guild war if not like me you're not and you get assigned to defending positions and you can uh, attack positions so here we can check the defenses and here we can do the, the attacks so if I would be playing I would, would go in here and pick one target and try to attack that target 
but I cannot. Okay, so that's it. Um, oh, okay, so eventually one team will be winning. Right now it's very, very much tied. But one team will be winning, one team eventually w will win. And the, you get points from, from that. Then you have the, the, let's see, here the leagues. You have you have the points for for the league and, and the, the teams that position with the most points be, they basically get get the most rewards okay you can check on those here this is similar to to arenas but it's for the, the guild war okay so now with that let's see on the arenas we have the uh, arena here and um, these ones you fight with five heroes against five heroes and also your pet uh, this is a d difference from the mobile version where you don't have pets so you only fight with five heroes there and the grand arena you fight with three teams of five heroes each and also the pets one pet for each team and there's also one thing we haven't gone through uh, when talking about the pets is that I suppose we could talk just a little bit on, on that, just a little bit. So um, each pet um, has different skills and stats and all that. Items, these are items, and um, they will bring to the fight the, these skills. Okay, so let's see. One of the most popular, maybe Oliver. Oliver will will bring a shield. A shield to the team so will heal your teammates and also will heal the 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 hero with the lowest health so that, that that's his skills but he also has the the patronage skill and the patronage basically applies to the the hero that you want this specific pet to be helping and you can have uh, one pet helping one specific hero so one pet per hero and you can have up to six seven pets now and there's one more releasing in the next days so there will there will, there will be uh, eight pets so that means eight eight heroes can receive directly some kind of uh, help from the pet and that's basically the patronage skill so once you reach the the violet rank for the pet you can you can um, you can have this skill uh, start to be applied to the, the the hero of your choice but before that I believe uh, rank blue I'm not sure now you already are able to assign the pet to to a, a hero as a patron and apply these uh, patronage effects okay so I, re I believe really uh, blue rank you get the patronage effects and violet rank you get the bonus skill and you can check those here uh, for um, each pet what um, what heroes they can they can apply these uh, these boosts so in essence for guild war for arena and for grand arena you will have up to five pets per team helping out individually each of the heroes and then also one pet applying to the whole team okay so in this case Fenris will will use his two first skills on the fight they will in this case increase armor penetration and or better yet they, they will do blinding and things like that but uh, it will also give a bonus to one of these heroes that I have him assigned to and I, I have other pets assigned to other heroes so I will have multiple I will have one pet present in the in the fight I will be Fenris but the other pets will will also giving their bonuses to to some of these heroes so let's do let's do some fighting here I think the the uh, arenas they don't need much explanation so basically they basically uh, you have to fight enemy teams uh, if you if you win you get uh, you get uh, you, you go up in, in rank you, you take the, the rank of of that uh, player you just won 
in the ranking so I, I jumped to 461 which was the ranking of this player before so I did one fight and here in the arena I can also try to do some fights um, probably won't win this fight but we'll see and probably because they have a very good defense in there we, they have Alvanor providing a shield to the basic attacks Astrod here providing a shield to the physical attacks then they have Maya doing healing and a lot of pure damage to, to my team then they have Slash doing a lot of heals in their team and attacking my team as well and blocking healing on my team and then there's also and also removing buff, uh, debuffs on their team and then there's also Drew doing a lot of damage so my team I also have Drew and Al Alvanor but they are probably not a match for this team let's just speed up these and we see that my team just falls to the ground that's a good a good uh, composition there an interesting composition and you can see now that they have three pets assigned so Fenris to Drew so Fenris is the patron of Drew and then Axel is the patron of Slashed and then Alvanor is sorry Oliver is the pet of Alvan is the patron of Alvanor <laughs> and their main pet is Axel that is present in the fight in my case I had Fenris present in the fight and I have Fenris the patron of Ishmael and I have uh, Kane, the pa the patron of Aurora, and I have Albus, the patron of Jew. Okay, I lost it. Doesn't matter. Um, I just want to do some fights for the sake of this video, and also to collect the reward. So let's do one more fight here. Uh, I don't tend to win against Kark teams, and uh, not against uh, Yasmin teams either. And it's the case again because because uh, the the I see the logs here. These um, these heroes here, the Zhu and and Ishmael, um, and I don't even have Jorgen here to redirect their damage to the backline. They will be um, they will be doing a lot of damage, but it's physical damage, and Kark will block some of that damage. Astrod has his shield. And then we have uh, uh, Marta and Astra, they provide armor for the team, so you see there's some complications here. And uh, they, they need to, to be uh, some time doing their damage to, to eventually kill the, the opposing team. While the opposing team, Kark and Yasmin, as soon as they um, get enough energy, they, they will just uh, do their ultimate and will do a lot of damage uh, in one time. So often they can do one shot, one kill. Um, one or multiple heroes. Kar can do that for multiple heroes. And Yasmin will do one at a time. But she then will just keep keep ultimating very quick. So that's a, a tough com composition to for me, for with this team to win. Let's go over the, the rewards. I fought three times, so I got the reward there. And... We're now down to the last few things, so I still haven't upgraded my hero skills. That's something I, I didn't do earlier. I will <coughs> pick some some hero to do that. Um, I'm not sure where I should be investing now. I suppose Sebastian. I just put here one, one level in each skill. So, complete, and now the last thing, the tower. Clicking here is the same as cli clicking there, so... The tower, um, you start at always at level 1, but you have if you have finished levels in the previous day... Um, and there's a specific set of rules for that. And... So, if you have finished up to if you have finished up to to floor twenty six you will have uh, the option of skipping up to floor twenty six okay that's um that's the best explanation for that uh, I was actually thinking if you had finished 
until floor 26 then you would have all the, those floors left to skip the next day but it but in more more specifically in reality um you can you can skip all the floors that you have done even if you haven't completed up to 26 but only up to 26 okay so i'm just skipping now all the fights and just collecting these resources If there is a, a special event uh, where you get rewards for opening uh, tower chests, it might be worth uh, opening extra chests um, up to uh, floor 26 for 50 emeralds and then afterwards for 100 emeralds. That really depends um, if, you, if you want to spend more or less uh, emeralds and how many emeralds. I don't tend to open extra chests, but sometimes I, d I do need. So now they are a uh, hundred emeralds and up. I mean, just a hundred emeralds, <laughs> not up, not more than that. So I'm gonna just uh, do them to tell them to just end this quick, and we just collect the resources. And um, I kind of, uh <laughs> you can retreat from these fights and not lose anything. You can then repeat the same fight. I kind of uh, overestimated the opposition. So let's let's do like this. It's, it's better. <laughs> also, uh, I still have this temporary composition here that I wanted to change. Let's put Ishmael there. Ah, difficult to pass through, huh? There. So we collect all of these. And um, by the way, we're now at the uh, 1 hour and 17 minutes mark. I will try to finish this with all my comments before the 1 hour and 30 minutes mark because it's already so long so floor 36 in the tower you have up to 50 floors So we'll be completing this sharpening. Uh, similar to what you have in uh, Adventures, but the tower was designed f before that. You have these buffs. Uh, well, we we could talk about those. So let's see when the next ones that appear. There's a chest there. Uh, there's no buffs yet. Ah, they don't want us to to, sh to see those those buffs, huh? <laughs> but I I think after that uh, chest, there's always a buff, uh, um, a buff. Uh, what they call this? This whatever thing this is, a buff tr a shrine. <laughs> there's always one at at level forty three. So you can get um, you can get uh, offensive defensive and um, healing and resurrection buffs so increase damage that's offensive increase armor or increase magic defense that's defensive and then uh, there's um, there's uh, heal your team resurrect a dead hero and also this one recovers the energy for all the heroes by 40 percent and you use these skulls that you get uh, for for each fight and those buffs stay till the end of the day. 
uh, um, specifically, specifically only in the tower. And they are very, very useful. Alright, so we are now at 46. I didn't need to get all those because I'm already at the end, but whatever. And um, also, one more one more comment uh, as we complete the tower. If you if you win the fights and don't lose any any heroes, you get more rewards. So it's in your interest to try to to get always three stars for the fights to get more gold. More gold and more skulls. Now this this is the last chest. There's nothing special about it, in the, even though even though it's fancy. You can now trade the the skull the skulls you have accumulated skull coins for gold. And you can also get um, with the tower points. Um, these ones here you can you can collect and get gold and tower coins. Finally, when you reach uh, level 130, you you will be eventually given the option to skip all the fights and just collect the rewards for every chest. So, reward now for the chests, for the, for the tower, I mean. And I think that that's all. What other tips can I tell you? Well, let's go over first what what were all the things we did. We we did first the energy spending so that we don't waste energy then we did the expeditions and there should be more expeditions now that I can put on running then we checked on the merchant here to get some some stuff because these renew every X hours then we also checked on all the things we can upgrade for for our heroes and that will give us rewards we did the Outlands, Outland fights here. Okay, then we checked on the on the dungeon. Although the dungeon is something you can leave for the end of the day, doesn't really matter when when you do it, as long as you do it. Then we checked also the the glyphs here and the gift of the elements. We checked on things we can upgrade for our titans and do the competition for the titans, so the tournament of the elements. We did. Also adventures and upgrades for the pets, or better, we didn't do, but we could do. Um, for example, spending a little bit here for this item. Then we also you know, we opened the, the the summoning eggs for the pets. We opened the the artifact spheres for uh, here in the titan valley we opened the uh, summoning spheres here in the circle of summoning for the titans we upgraded titans we exchanged souls for for the titan soul coins and then for titan potions in the merchant we went over to the guild war and we went back here and, and checked on the arenas and the tower and this is basically what I what I had in mind for you guys. So cer certain things need to be should be done in a specific order or at least sooner with higher priority because they are time sensitive. Other things not really. So because we have the arenas only late in the in the evening um, and also the guild war finishes uh, later in the evening. Uh, you can do those more more in the afternoon, right? Then uh, the tower and the dungeon really doesn't matter when you do it, as long as you do it at the uh, till the end of the day. So you can do those closer to bedtime, for example. Uh, the same for the outland. Um, but the the airship, so the expeditions, the the energy, you should be doing those as soon as possible because they will they will so they will uh, take time and they will mm, there's multiple expeditions. They will get multiple times energy a day. So you should be doing those. Uh, early on and then just check on the merchants often because they they will be renewing 
and they their available options also so all these shops every 24 hours and this one every i think every three every um, eight hours or something eight hours six hours i, I don't recall for sure well I hope you enjoyed this uh, long video and it's it was um, a challenge it's it's a lot of co things to cover a lot of detail but I hope this will help you out and make you more efficient uh, on your day-to-day -day, um, grinding of this game okay so I'll see you around and have a good day bye bye